Oh no, the baby. Hello, my friends. My name is Unky. Welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. Today's the day the new school teacher gets introduced. I should go to the school and the dedication ceremony. Is she taking care of it? Or is it my job? Anything you want for breakfast? It's never okay to start the day with an empty belly. Okay, she got to it. Great. Um, thank you so much for taking it. Let's put the baby to bed early tonight. <laughs> yeah. Hey! What the heck? How do I get out of here? Oh, wait. It is... I'm so turned around. There it is. <laughs> okay, we have to fix this house, obviously. I did not get the things for the school put in the school though. Is that a problem? Is that going to be a huge mess? I hope not. Why don't we go do that right now before anything else happens? Uh, I, this game really makes me feel like I'm a terrible father. <laughs> it really, really does. There's Katori. Let's see, is there any other thing going on? Okay, right here. Oh, it's the school ceremony. So I guess we haven't failed that one yet, um, which is nice. Well, I guess we didn't get it until yesterday, and then today is the day. So it should be fine. I'm hopeful. If not, I guess I just have some, like, kid stuff for the room that I'm going to make for my baby. Go to the school to take part in the opening ceremony. Where do you think I'm going? I'm going the most weird way possible. Look out, Andy. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming out so early. What an exciting day! We're here to celebrate the opening of Sandrock's brand new school. Thanks to the combined efforts of Construction Junction and our Commerce Guild, our children will no longer lose at the starting line. So cool. Ahem. During the Relic Rush, Sandrock was a bit more bustling than it is now. At that time, the city had a school, and there were even plans for a university. But as the environment degraded and the sandstorms became more rampant, more and more people moved away. When our last teacher, Miss Bliss, retired due to health reasons, no replacement wanted to come, leaving an empty schoolhouse sitting there until a sandstorm finished the job. I remember the day Miss Bliss retired. We did our best to try to bring back a school to Sandrock, but Budget and population reality always stood in the way. In the meantime, folks in our community stepped up. Vivi, Heidi, even church members taught our children where they could. In the end, I think we can all agree, the children of Sandrock are our future. We need to give them the best darn school we could possibly build. And now, after all of our efforts, it's a reality. I think we should take a moment and give Mian, um, like the credit where credits due because she forked over a crap ton of cash to build this school. Yeah, I'm getting emotional here. <laughs> I love it when they all talk building, together. It doesn't have a teacher, so let's all give a great big Sandrock welcome to Jane, our new school teacher. They really did a great job of making her look like a school teacher, right? Would you like to say a few words, Jane? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you all for the warm welcome. I'm looking forward to working with your children and filling their minds with knowledge. I hope our time together will inspire in them a love of learning that extends throughout their lives. You know what? I don't doubt that that's going to be the case, not just because I think she's genuine in what she means, but I do get the feeling that a lot of people in Sandrock, the big players, Heidi, Mian, all, even Cooper to a large degree, uh, Elsie, Logan, all of these people who are so influential on the children all have that same um, learning desire to learn. I can't wait to get started. We are super happy to have you here, Jane. Now, without further ado, as mayor of this lovely town, I hereby dedicate this school to the children of Sandrock. All three of them. Jane will need some time <laughs> to get her Wait, four! And the curriculum planned. But school starts soon, so make sure our kids have all their school supplies ready. 
Have a truly great day, folks. Okay, so this isn't the first day of school. This is just us commemorating the completion of the school. Cool. Very, very fun. Okay, um, it looks like maybe... You miss me, Here we go. I just had to say it again. Thank you so much for making all of this happen. Oh, to think I was really going to just rebuild that old shack and call it a school. <laughs> ah, well... We all have our off days. I still think she should have given me a shout out. Really, Mayor? You don't have to thank me. I'm just doing what I think is right and trying to make a difference. Like you. So sweet. Right. Well, still, we need to also commemorate those who make a difference. To set an example to others and inspire them to do great things. That's why I've commissioned a small plaque to be placed at the door with your name on it. That's adorable. You know what? Isn't the school named after Mian? Isn't it literally called Mian's uh, Institute of Talesis? So I, she is getting her credit. Absolutely. Oh, really? Don't. Please. Unless Mian was just like, I'm going to put my name on this door. <laughs> hmm. Well, then you're going to hate this idea. Jane suggested we name the school after you, Mian's Institute of Telesis, or MIT for short. W what? Institute? Technology? No, Telesis. <laughs> yes, uh, perhaps a bit of a stretch for a city school. But this is the kind of imagination we need teaching our young ones about the world. Okay, absolutely adorable. Um, everyone's here and there is, oh look, so there's a bunch of little conversation bubbles. Let's not miss a single one. Or is there anything else happening? No, this is the big event for the day. So we still haven't gotten a chance to interact with Loa. That's fine. Okay, let's see what's going on with the kids. Hey, we're gonna have a new teacher. And finally, a real school. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool. He's not thrilled on this idea. Look what my mom got me. This pencil says Monday on it, and this one says Tuesday. Oh, and you'll never believe what this one says. It says Wednesday! <laughs> yeah, Logan got me the same pencil pack. I told him to stuff it. I chew on one pencil at a time. Ain't got no time for guessing what the future holds. What's the matter, Andy? You don't seem excited. Didn't you see the class schedule? There's not anything you're looking forward to? Nah, listen. If it was me running this thing, we'd be kicking the arithmetic to the curb and doing all combat classes. That's right. Morning till night, learning to fight. You know what? As obstinate and kind of bratty as Andy is being and can often be, he actually has a point. I think that this academic learning is obviously so important for the kids. Clearly, right? But Sandrock is not. Sandrock is a rough place. And just because we've conquered some serious foes doesn't mean that we don't need strong fighters. I think that there needs to be both. How cool would it be if like Logan, you know, in his off time was like training the kids how to be better fighters? Heck, training, that was one of the things that I really loved about Penn actually was that in his spare time, he was training Burgess how to fight. And that wasn't a bad thing. That was like, Penn wasn't all bad. He just, I mean, yeah, he was pretty bad. But the fact that he was training Burgess, this like, you know, innocent, basically helpless, sweet little guy, how to defend himself. That was, you know, that was laudable. That was a virtuous thing. I think we need something like that in town. Combat classes? You're, you're starting to sound like Penn. It's like they cued this up for me. I swear. <laughs> well, no, ain't like that. Me and that yellow-bellied snake in the grass got less in common than a frog in a tadpole. My classes would include protecting the weak, standing up to bullies, and hey, let's be real for a second, maybe a little bit of banditry. <laughs> he, he, he's got this like, you know what I love about this is that he's got this idea of banditry in the same way that like, uh, Luffy from One Piece has his idea of piratry, right? All the other pirates in the One Piece universe most of the other pirates in the One Piece universe are just intent on plunder and raiding and just being bastards. But Luffy's idea of being a pirate is that it means freedom. And I think that Andy kind of 
has the same vibe in that he he just wants to be free he doesn't want to be told what to do he doesn't want to be stuck he doesn't want to have to live in the confines of a bunch of other people's rules i i get that's that's how i'm filling in the blanks here this is really cute though that me and pen have less in common than a frog and a tadpole this was absolutely the worst possible metaphor he could have used Okay, you guys are so cute. Let's see what else is going on. Miss Jane, pleasure to finally meet you. I'm Heidi. Welcome to Sandrock. Oh, Heidi. Yes, a pleasure to meet you as well. You designed the school, did you not? I must say, my eyes lit up when I saw the design. You really went above and beyond. Oh, you saw the design before you came. Yeah, how did that happen? Did Trudy send it to her? I did. In fact, it sealed the deal for me when I saw your angular, decisive lines shaped and cradled such a cozy little den of learning. I started to hear the voices of children laughing and singing. It was a no-brainer. This is a fantastic compliment to Heidi because we've talked so many times about how Heidi really favors function over form. And so the fact that that speaks to her and to her that is like, oh, this is the perfect place for me to raise kids. This wonderful synergy huh. here. Well, I never expected my design to make such an impact. Well, I'll try to continue to impress. Say, you know, I used to be something of a teacher here myself. Me and, uh, one other guy used to tutor the only kid in town. Is he, is she talking about Miguel? It must be Miguel, right? Is that so? How wonderful. So nice to be amongst like-minded individuals. Who is this other guy exactly? Well, I must meet them at once. Mm, let's not talk about that. Ah, well, he's, a. Uh kind of going through some stuff right now <laughs> is miguel still in prison <laughs> is he um wasn't there there is one more yes and i think it's right here so what did you have in mind for the pta dan b oh god here we go i love this i love this little <laughs> yeah i'm interested as well <laughs> here we go oh, oh, oh look at this this is my 10 point plan we're gonna make sure the kids of Sandrock will have the best experience in school. Holiday parties? Spring trip? Radical dreamer society. <laughs> Here we go. These are gonna totally clash with her idea, watch. That's right. Oh no. We're also gonna need an officer and a bookkeeper. Who's interested? Gotta say, Dan Dan, when you roll, you really go all out. Maybe I can volunteer some of my time for this. And Rockies as well. You know what? I My fear when I was like, oh, God, this is going to clash was that she's going to be overbearing and she's not going to be welcoming of anyone else's ideas. But the fact that she's like, sure, whatever, let's just make the best possible place for our kids to learn. Awesome. And I'll work with you on the lunch program. OK, we love it. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? You know what? Um, select an interaction. Give me a kiss. Look at all of this that we have created. Isn't it beautiful? What a wonderful thing. All right. Um, let's go put these little accoutrements. And then I'm going to use my super duper space laser to blast open the clouds. Boom! Pow! Kablooey! Peach! 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 <laughs> Pebbles is so freaking adorable. Who do you think you are? These clouds have covered our world for hundreds of years. Peach, you foolhardy, reckless young man. We need to go back to our caves and embrace the darkness. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Jasmine. Ahem. <clears throat> Many people questioned Peach's radical ideas, thinking he was bound to fail. But he persevered and aimed his machine at the sky and fired a massive burst of energy. What are they role-playing right now? Uh-uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, I'm gonna... Blind? I'm going to break a hole in the sky and let the sun shine down on us. That's right, because she's a huge theater person. This has to be some play or something. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I reckon I'm gonna break me a big old hole in that there sky and uh, let the sun shine on down on... on us. Nailed it. <laughs> you did. Good job. <laughs> and against all odds, Peach achieved this miraculous feat and brought the light 
back into everyone's life. Wow! 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 Teacher, I should be Peach. I did a way better job than Andy. He can't even remember his lines. No offense, Andy. Everyone can take a turn being Peach. <laughs> Feedback received. Well, you know, sometimes it's less about the words and more about the charisma. That X factor, that presence, that star power. It gets the people going. I'm talking pizzazz. Everyone gave an amazing performance today. Yes, Andy forgot his lines, but he brought life to the character. It was almost as if Peach was right in front of me. And of course, Jasmine and Little Pebbles were as wonderful as ever. Why were so many people against Peach? Wasn't he doing the right thing? I don't understand. Well, you have to understand the society at time. Cute. I want to learn the lesson. Okay, here we go. Have a little tent. Oh my gosh, this place is awesome. Have a rocking chair. Look at their cool little playroom. Oh my gosh. And then what do we got over here? A nice desk lamp. Perfect. It's fabulous. Thank you. It's just how I imagined. I can see why Trudy said you're the best of the best. Right, well, I need to get cracking planning my lessons. Oh, that reminds me. Is there somewhere we can rent books in Sandrock? A city hall, maybe? Could you show me the way there? Rent books? Where would we, do we have a library? It's for my lessons. I just did a little practice, but I feel like I'm missing something. I think if I dig through a couple of books, I'll find what I need. Uh, were you preparing your class back there? <laughs> you caught me. I was trying to think about how I can bring a little dramatics to my lessons. Like, just before, I was trying to teach the digestive system of Yakmo. <sighs> See? <laughs> I'm boring myself already. <laughs> I thought a little acting magic could grab the student's attention. I figured if I could really show them the pain a Yakmo feels while eating noodles, they'd really empathize. You know, back at college, I wrote a paper called Theater in Education, Methods for Engaging Edutainment. It even won an award. Okay, so I guess I have to take back my criticism of her noodles to Yakmel. Apparently, this is all part of her teaching method, and you know what? Right on. Whatever gets them focused. Let's see. Let me take you really? there. Oh, you're the best. Let's go. Let's go. So we're going to go to City Hall. Is she following? Okay, cool. Go to City Hall second floor. Oops, wasn't it? Where's the door? Oh, it's right over here. Duh. Will she, okay, why don't we say, hey, Merle, uh, return home. We'll call our other trusty steed. There he is. What are you doing hiding back here? Will she hop on? Cool. Oh, I love it when they ride. Let's go. You're going to have to get one of these for yourself if you want to traverse. Sand rock because only yakmels and goats are capable of leaping across. Gosh, I'm so not used to yaki poo now that I've been riding Burl. Anyways, look out, Nemo. Okay, well, he can still get up on a roof if he wants to, and he can still get stuck if he wants to. Not my best performance, I gotta say. Come this way. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Nia's back! Oh Welcome my god, she looks adorable in her outfit. Thank you for coming. I've called you all here to discuss how we'll move forward with Operation Greenland. What a cool name! Which is what we're calling it now. It's much catchier than the plan to plant trees. <clears throat> anyway, we have wonderful guests visiting us all the way from Highwind who will be aiding us on this plan. Please say hello to Professor Law and his assistant Nia. Professor Law. Um, Nia looks unbelievably adorable in her outfit. Does she not? Professor Law is a leading botany researcher in the Free Cities. You may know him for developing the planter box technique. 
The professor and his assistant will be staying with us for a while to study and solve the soil issue we're facing in the outback. So cool. I'm so happy Nia's back. Thank you for the kind words, Mayor Trudy. I hope that we can work together to discover the reasons behind the inhospitable topsoil. I'm also interested in studying the declines in biomass productivity, particularly those due to anthropogenic causes. Okay. Oh no, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I hope we have lots of interesting academic discussions and discoveries. Nia, do you want to say something? Sure. It's so lovely to be back in Sandrock. A few of you have met me already, particularly the Builder. <laughs> it's great to see you again. She is so flirty. It is overwhelming. It's good to see you too, Nia. What should I say? You're that guy from yesterday. Nia, you're back. <laughs> Did you miss me? I can't wait to see everyone again. I've been itching to come back to Sandrock. See what I mean? She's just so flirty. Now that we've become acquainted, Nia, I am a married man with children. Shall we? Are we going to have to put the kibosh on it? So, let's assess the situation. We have now conducted two reforestation experiments in the desert. One of them is still alive and kicking, right? It was just too small to really... We were able, The first one, we were basically able to prove that using um, the machine that produced whatever goo that created better biosoil allowed us to plant stuff in the desert. But something about the Eufaula Outback, it didn't take. So we have to adapt the experiment to work in the U. And you know what? I think planting a hundred trees was maybe going a little hard. We probably should have started with like 10. Something a little small just to get a proof of concept because a hundred trees is a big freaking investment. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. The bio crust, I think it's a big investment. Anyways. The little woods near Gecko Station was a resounding success. Using algae obtained from the shipwreck ruins, we were able to create a sustainable topsoil that supported trees. That's right. It was a machine that produced the algae that created the kind of bio crust. The second attempt was to plant a larger forest in the Eufaula outback. This time, the results were less than satisfactory. The algae did not prove effective, and the per capita water consumption was much higher than anticipated. Any ideas i visited zeke yesterday and he gave me a thorough assessment of the situation his research was fascinating desert planting is a colossal task it is remarkable you have been able to achieve what you have so far you know what would have been really fun was to be able to sit in on that conversation listening to two highly intelligent people talk about you know their specific research their their you know specific knowledge in something at a high level is always really fascinating even when you don't understand everything that they're saying regarding the algae we'll first collect some samples from the outback then we'll compare and contract the samples with those in controlled environments back in high wind to see if we can observe any differences seems like standard science as for the water I'm afraid I can't think of a solution right now. Based on Zeke's numbers, there will be a massive shortfall, even if we somehow reduce the trees per capita water intake. That is a problem. What needs to happen is what I described in a few episodes, where essentially it starts to create its own microclimate, and then the water usage goes down. But I think the, you know, the possibility of that happening is like, that's like generations down the road. We need a faster solution. Well, we had water shortages before and we pushed through. If we just put our heads together and... Look at um, Justice and Jane. They're standing a little close right there. Isn't that cute? I'm going to start shipping them right now. Wait, there will be another water shortage in Sandrock. That's not what we're saying. Uh, Director Chi, I didn't say that. Oh, that's good. Because that would be adverse to my tea drinking habits. If we're ever low on water again, why don't we just use the water from the starship ruins? <laughs> it's he is so funny to me because he's just been sitting on this knowledge that there's like a massive water reservoir in the starship ruins and didn't think that it was relevant to share it with everyone because it wasn't what he was interested in, right? 
it wasn't pertinent to what his he would all he cared about was the olympus is it a bunch of water on the olympus okay go on oh. <laughs> yes gee god wait 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 what there's water in the northern ruins isn't this obvious jesus come on bro uh... no you have to tell us these things dude <sighs> okay look the starship ruins was a manufacturing and launch facility for aerospace vehicles so of course there's water Space flight takes a lot of water. They most likely even had an atmospheric water generator. Okay, that's insane. This is literally what I was just saying. We need a faster solution, an atmospheric water generator. Will this create its own, like, will this create rain? Does this create rain? I simply haven't found a reservoir yet. I thought Justice would have told you that by now. Oh, it's Justice's fault. <laughs> Just <laughs> Jesus Christ, G. Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, what? You didn't tell me anything either. Oh, uh, I thought it was just logical. I presume that you understood this. My mistake. No, man, we don't know anything about spaceships, bro. You, me, let's have a talk later. <laughs> He's gonna slap him. <laughs> Is this really true? There might be a reservoir in the Starship Ruins? And they have a water maker? A water maker, yep. No. No? no. Ah, so it was a joke. Not might. I'm 100% certain there is a water reservoir in that area. It might have an atmospheric water generator. They were built into every space facility during the late old world period. Holy crap, this is so huge. Uh? Well, it seems to me that the water issue might no longer be an issue. <laughs> Certainly worth this little misunderstanding. Okay, thank you for calming everyone down because we were all about to beat up Chi for being so aloof. Justice, can we get the Civil Corps out there to find this atmospheric water maker? Yeah, let's go. Generator. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course we can. No problem. How about you join me for an yes. excursion to the Starship Ruins tomorrow? That sounds so cool. <laughs> Always raring to go, eh? Love the go-get'em attitude. Well then, Director, Justice, and Builder will go with you to find this generator tomorrow. They'll be sure to protect you. I await the good news. Wow, so I'm a highly valued asset being protected by a team of specialists. Calm down. I remember this from that Gungam episode. Sounds like a plan. I'll start working with Mian and Heidi on plans for us to get that water into town. Are we going to have to pipe it across the desert? You can count on me. This is so exciting. It actually really is. I'll be waiting for you at the entrance of the ruins tomorrow morning. Make sure you're prepared. Got it. We'll see you there. Then that's all for today's meeting. Thank you again, Professor Law and Nia, for coming all this way. If there really is water in the Starship Ruins, oh, this will change everything for Sandrock. Okay, this is huge. Nia! <laughs> <laughs> I saw the look on your face at the meeting. <laughs> you didn't expect to see me here, did you? Why didn't you tell me you were coming? <laughs> I wanted to surprise you. Well, someone got married without telling me. So consider us even. That's fair. Okay, look. We, I thought, I legitimately thought that I wasn't going to live another day, okay? I thought we were going to die. I thought Sandrock was going to be wiped off. And I didn't want to pierce the veil into the great beyond alone. Okay, can you blame me? I don't think so. Anyway, the real reason I'm here is so I can help with the soil problem. I told you I'd come back, so I didn't really lie, did I? No, and we're very happy to see you. Now that you're super famous and everything, my parents weren't as worried about me coming over here. Yeah, because we can fight off foreign armies. We're basically capable of everything. They told me that I have a lot to learn from you. <laughs> oh yeah. Your mom and pa told me to make sure you take breaks, to remind you to take a vacation once in a while. Nah. But I don't think they need to worry. You're married now. You have someone to take care of you, right? Yes, she does a great job of taking care of me. Come on then, fill me in. How are things going with you? I need to write back and let them know. Everything's great. Sandrock's getting yeah, better all the time. I didn't expect Sandrock to start working on a whole forest this quickly. I'm glad though. It gave me an excuse to visit. Cool. You guys really are amazing. After so many challenges, one after another, you still kept your spirit high. I respect the heck out of this town. You've got to tell me all the stories later. 
Come by the Blue Moon Saloon. There will be plenty of stories to be shared. Still, seeing my best friend working so hard to build this city, I just want to help out in some way. Well, I'm going to go and get settled. I'll see you later, all right? All right. So happy that she's back. Uh, Jane, hello. Let's take a look and see. Oh, my goodness. Go to City Hall. Isn't that what we did? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's why Jane was here. We we came here to show her the library. <laughs> I forgot. Um, does that mean we're going to get some story bubbles on the map? I always got to check this because I never want to miss them. Doesn't look like it. Let's zone out and head back in. At least that's what it says. Here we go. This is it! Fundamentals of Drama Education. Oh, look! Miss Jane, this is my favorite play. Can't imagine why. There is no joy like that of being loved by another and feeling that your presence is an addition to their happiness. Uh, that's true. The love between Miss Jane and Mr. Rock is so touching. I wish I could... Oh, hello. Are you here to borrow some books? Oh, hey, I mean, hello, Mayor Trudy. Yes, we are. Wonderful. Well, just let me know which one you want to take out, and I'll make a note of it. I had no idea there was a library here. This one, please. Fundamentals of Drama Education. Oh, I didn't realize you were so interested in acting, Jane. Maybe you'll want to have a little chat with Owen and our famous Kugo band. Sandrock's quite the walnut grove these days. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what she thinks of our goofy little, like, <laughs> hillbilly band. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Sandrock was full of such creativity. Thank you so much, Mayor. Anyways, I've made a note of it now, so I'll let you get back to it. <sighs> ah... Is it just me, or do you also start to get really nervous when you see someone with authority? It's like I'm asking my professor to review my work. Uh, don't worry. Trudy's great. Why didn't you tell her about the edutainment stuff? I know, I know. She's lovely. I really shouldn't be so nervous. She really wants to be able to show, to prove herself. I don't know. I'm not entirely confident. I was doing an internship at a school, and the parents kept saying to just teach the stuff. They didn't really get my teaching style. There is no better place in all the free cities to have an unorthodox teaching style than Sandrock. You're gonna fit right in. Anyway, thanks for coming with me today. It's nice. You're the first real friend I've made in Sandrock so far. It's exciting to come to a new place, but it's also a little scary. I'm glad I met you though, but I'll let you go now. Back to the book for me. Bye. Bye. Okay, well, that's fun. 50 plus 50 on that one. That's nice. Okay, here if we go. I may ask, Director Chi, what are you doing here? I'm here to use the telegraph. As you know, I'm supposed to report into the Alliance once every week about my progress in the Starship Runes. Although it is a pain, they are funding me and giving me on site protection, so contractually, I can't complain. So, wait, are there, um,. Are there free cities like soldiers down there now? How are you progressing? I haven't seen much of you lately. Wasn't he also supposed to be working on like a sword for us? What happened to our sword? It is a very big rune. I'm only cataloging the most standout of technologies. I'll leave the rest of the other researchers and archaeologists. Even so, it will take me a while. It is a very big rune. Well, I'm glad you showed up. If we didn't know about this new water source... Huh. I don't know what else we could have done. Yeah, it's huge. Maybe the light is finally looking out for us. It was always looking out for us. Um, oh, she's got something to say. I just got back from the Starship Ruins. It was filled with such fascinating relics and science. I couldn't sleep. I just kept on absorbing. What should I ask? You're absolutely sure there's a reservoir it's a there? space facility. Pretty much everything they need to send anything into space needs water at some point. Think about it. For the Starship, they need water to make hydrogen for the fusion reactor and oxygen for the crew. Then they also need water to make anti-hydrogen for the antimatter engine. Which, by the way, is very superlative, but I have no idea how it works. <laughs> yeah. On top of that, 
they still need extra water for the crew for cooling down the launch structure during liftoff and to even for muffling the shock waves from the thrusters. That's really fascinating. I want to say that I really loved that he's so ready to admit when he doesn't understand something. Plus, I read it in a book. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, are you sure the water will be Could safe? Could be contaminated? Sure. But most likely it's fine. Ooh, okay, this 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 gives me, um, this makes me uncertain. I read before that the filter systems used in the old world pretty much ensured all water were clean to use. In fact, they even had procedures to reintroduce minerals back into the filtered water because it was so pure. Interesting. As long as the filters are still working and the reservoir doesn't have any cracks, maybe I should go revisit my math. I think we could all appreciate that. What should I say? Did you find anything else interesting down there? Yes. Yes. I found a quantum okay. communicator, but I don't know how to operate it. There's a user manual, but it doesn't even say how to turn it on. It's like whomever designed this wanted me to be confounded. And lucky for them, I enjoy a good challenge. Will this allow us to communicate with the humans that are now extra solar, or at least in space? I also tested a cryo cell, but it wasn't working. Which was good for me, and in turn Sandrock in the end, because I didn't really have a plan for if it did work. What is a cryo cell? Okay, he makes me nervous. He's just down there farting around. I didn't see any water on my way through the room. According to some of the base documents I found, there are several wings to this facility. You and the starship launch section, there are others. Is this gonna be the next place where we have to fight? Oh, it's gonna be so I'd fun. I'd assume the reservoir and the atmospheric water generator would be somewhere close by. What should I ask? I don't have sure. any more questions. I'll meet you there tomorrow. Okay, fantastic. This makes me wonder, okay, if we take a look at our character, we are level 44 and our gear is level 40. Do we have, we don't have any level 45 gear. We're going to be probably, oh, I did not mean to take that off, a little under leveled for the area. Cause remember the game said that we were under leveled for the tunnel to Porsche. We were doing fine though. So we might have to make sure that we bring lots of healing items before we get in there. Now let's take a look at the map. There is still probably, probably not that much to do. Oh, just wait till tomorrow. Whoa, look at that. Rainbow Dinosaur Senior Jacket. Cool. Okay. Um, let's go. So I guess we should go back home and take care of some commissions. And then maybe it would be fun to try and craft. Oop. Oop. Err. Uh, Mr. Yakipoo, why don't you return home? Uh, I think I need to get some, let's see, letters from Trudy. Since our previous attempt at planting the new forest got blown away by the sandstorm, I've managed to convince the botanical expert Professor Luo from Highwind to provide some ideas on how to solve our issue. Except our invitation and arrived in Sandrock yesterday. I'm going to host a city hall meeting to welcome Professor Luo and discuss our forest plans once more. As someone who helped with the initial test phase, I'd be delighted if you could join. Okay, we already read that letter from Venti. Oh, she loves making me this melon mousse. We really have not seen or spent any time with Venti in quite a long time. It is unfortunate in a way. Okay. Looks like the grass is doing well. How's it doing on water? It's doing okay. We can always water it some more. Here is our factory. Let's, let's take a look at a few things. First thing I want to do... So these are the weapons, right? Vintage shotgun, level 40. How about clothing? Tailoring, here we go. Okay, so no, we've made the level 45 gear. We just have to make sure that we have it on hand so that we can equip it when we go into the thing. Okay, then I'm not too worried. Have we made a kitty helmet though? I honestly can't remember. The other thing we could probably do do we have, I think we do. Yes, we do, level 45. Okay, great. Sort, um, I could probably unload all of this stuff. Let's see, interact, we're just gonna say sort all. I think we still have, no, we don't. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I need to get a bunch of these. So these are consumable. I have to remember to get the rest of those. Okay, so all I have to really worry about 
is making sure that I have... Oh, this can go inside the factory now too, right? Can't it? Let's double check. Let's find out. Home. It's marked as home, but it is not home. Yes. There we go. Okay, well, this is very, very convenient to use. Let's see what we got. Um, we can probably make that. He loves them, chromiums. We already did a bunch of those. How about over here? These are always easy. We're actually running pretty low on potatoes. I don't want to do that one. None of these are paying all that well. Let's see about this canvas. And then this one pays okay. Okay, the easiest thing in the world these days is making commissions. We're, we've basically mastered it. Now, uh, we should probably spend some time, pet our little critters, we wanna keep them happy. And then I think with the rest of the day, we will do our best to work on the house. In fact, what I think I might do, because I do want to have a bit of a distinction between the factory and the house, is I might, I mean, I could do something really crazy, like move it over here, but I might move the bunny hutch over to this corner right here. In fact, I feel like that might be the thing, and the reason then is then I could rotate this 90 degrees and hopefully fit it right here. Hello, you cute little birdies. There we go. Let's give everyone a pet. Um, I really wish they weren't getting stuck outside, but there's nothing I can really do about that. Mian just running around outside. That's her number one. It's amazing that she can get so much work done when she spends so much of her time running around in the desert. But, you know, who am I to judge? Nobody! Oh, you know what? I've forgotten to name my rabbits. Oh, well. Okay, so let's see what we can do about fixing this. I feel like... I'm gonna put this down here. Uh, I'm actually going to do this. I think these are grouped. Let's do it from here. Hey, friends. I really wanted to finish my house today. <laughs> I really had this plan that I was going to get my, like, farm floor plan laid out. And then I was going to build and decorate this beautiful, cozy little two-story house. And then I spent the next hour and a half really struggling to get a floor plan down that I liked. It is proving to be so much more difficult than I initially expected. And I think maybe it's just a little bit lack of space. And so I'm doing, I was just doing this constant Tetris trying to find where everything would go. Being really unhappy with the way things looked. I did get the factory done and in a place that I like that I think is just going to remain there. Hopefully I don't have to mess with it again because there's so much noodling that has to be done. But I spent an hour trying to get a one, excuse me, a two story building for my house working that I just never liked. No matter what I tried, I ended up scrapping it and then just going with a nice little one story layout. And if I tried to edit this, I've been trying to edit this for like two and a half hours and cut out all of the fluff. And I've gotten to the, I still have like another hour of this video to edit. And I honestly am done. <laughs> I don't want to edit this video anymore. So I'm just going back to when I started this process and I'm just going to cut all of it. And I'm just going to jump straight to the end of the day when I have the, <laughs> the house done, the floor plan laid out at least. The house is completely undecorated and it's almost like collapse time. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it all out because I, I don't think it's even all that 
I'm sure some of you would enjoy watching me do that, but it's just making for a really long video. And honestly, I need to start recording other videos. I'm like, you know, I'm always short on time when it comes and I want to get more videos out this next week. So that is my heads up to you tomorrow after we dive into the spaceship ruins to find the water reservoir with Chi. Hopefully I don't have a ton of other stuff that I have to do and I can spend the day decorating the house and making it perfect. So that's it. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys later. Okay, oh my God, my friends. <laughs> we finally, we finally got a house shape that I think I'm okay with. Oh my goodness, that was a nightmare. Um, We probably need to make some water, huh? Oh my God. S with so much water. Uh, These buckets. Heidi, why are you going in the workshop, babe? Those buckets. I will keep these buckets until the day I die. There we go. Okay, let's go look at the inside of this house really quick. I know it's bare bones, but I think we finally have a floor plan. Here's a little entrance. Here will be a nice little living room. We'll build our little cozy kitchen in here. This door is stupid, let's fix this. It looks like there's nothing in here. Uh, there is nothing in here. What in the world has happened? Where did our bed go? How are we going to go to sleep without our bed? This is a problem. Which one is it in? There it is. And the baby. <laughs> no wonder she's going in the factory. She can't find the baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll acquire those. Um, The rest of this is just... Okay, I don't care about those. Okay, everything else after this is fine. Wait, where is, I think we want to acquire all that because that's going to have my um, level 45 gear in it. Okay. We're doing it, my friends. Thank you so much for patiently waiting till the end for with this one. We have a layout that I'm happy with. I know it's late. I know I should rest. And uh, tomorrow we're going to go back into the Starship Ruins source some awesome water. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. This room, this bedroom is a little small, that's okay. And then we are going to decorate and it's gonna be glorious. Uh, we have definitely shrunk our bedroom size, that's fine. Where in the world is my baby crib? There it is. And I don't know why, but I always feel like I have to have this rustic cabinet and this lamp before we can go to bed. All right, I appreciate you. You know, we'll stick this on the wall because I don't want to be carrying around all those clothes either. There we go. I appreciate you all so much. I bid you farewell and I really look forward to making this a home again when I see you all next time.